Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cruising the World with Jackie, and I'm Jackie. So currently I'm in Roswell, New Mexico in a laundromat at an RV park. Um, so we talked about where we were the first three weeks in Florida and our snowbirding experience. Um, the next stop we were at was Horseshoe Beach, Florida. It is on the west coast. Um, it's right on the Gulf of Mexico. So I have plenty of videos. I'll attach them. So let me just give you a little summary. It is a sleepy little town. Um, you think you went back to the 50s or the 60s. Um, the only phone service there was was Verizon. Um, I have T-Mobile. I had to get a burner phone. Um, during this time, my husband actually had to go back to Maryland to take care um, of a property we were buying. Um, so he left me there <laughs> with, I had no sort of cell service. Um, the little uh, library that was a couple blocks away had internet. I'd go up there once a day, tell them, hey, I'm okay. Um, you know, I have read many, many books. So, um, look, it, it was super cheap. Um, just like the last place, if you had a boat, you would be happy. But if you don't have a boat, like we didn't have a boat with us, there's nothing to do there. There is um, two restaurants, they're connected, they're owned by the same people, so when one's open, the other one's closed, when this one's open, that's closed. Um, there's a marina store, sorry, that's always coming. There's a marina store, the little library that's only open a couple days a week, and that's it. Um, they have fantastic sunsets, and I'll put that on there. I rode my electric bike around. Um, you know, it is what it is. It was a good um, half an hour to the next little town, um, which had, you know, good restaurants and all, but in and out, you know, you'd have to do that. But if you are a boater, it's wonderful. A lot of boat ramps, um, it's right on. The other thing is the bugs were awful. Awful, awful, awful. Now, like the last week before we left, um, they started spraying, spraying for the bugs. And that did help. But when my husband came back after 10 days, I was just covered um, in bug bites from them. You really couldn't go outside without getting them. I was really worried about the dog. Um, but, so so that's basically it. We wound up, when my husband came back, we stayed one more week and we left because he couldn't take it. He was like, no, there's nothing to do here. We have to go. And we did. So um, I'll attach those videos. Um, like I said, if you're a boating person, it's perfect. If you want to go for a couple days and see sleepy, really sleepy, Florida, perfect, but um, I wouldn't recommend it if you want to do a lot of things, unless they're water things. So, enjoy. And so, that's Florida. I got a couple more stops in Florida, and then we'll start the trek out west. And then we'll be doing 66, which we've been on 66 for a couple states. So, see ya. Like and subscribe, please. Hey guys, it's Cruising the World with Jackie. So we're camping. Um, and this is my first solo camping trip. Didn't plan it that way, but my husband had to return home. And I'm in Horseshoe Beach, Florida. I had to think about it twice. On the west coast, um, kind of by Cedar Key, a little bit higher than Cedar Key. Um, probably the biggest city near here is Gainesville and it's not close. <laughs> It really is like Old Town, Florida here. I have no self-service. Um, I have no internet, of course, then. And there is no TV antenna. I have a TV antenna and I can't get any stations. So, um, for the couple days that my husband's gone, I am here. Um, I walked up, to, they have a teeny, teeny library um, in like a strip mall. 
the strip mall has the realtor, the library, a gift shop kind of with beachy shirts and stuff. It is right on the uh, golf and a restaurant that is open half the week and then they have another small uh, like fast food place with pizza and stuff across the street and they're open the other half so one or the other will be open that's my understanding so anytime I want to use the phone or anything I have to go up to the internet which is at the library which is a couple blocks away so it's interesting um, it's really small and I feel really safe here but it is still interesting um, camping by myself the first time and I do have Sammy. She's a big dog. She growls pretty good. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not scared at all. I'll give you a little bit more information about this um, coming up on, you know, where we are exactly are. I'll show you some pictures and all. But it, I'm hot and tired from walking back and forth to the library and taking Sammy for a nice long walk that she deserves. This is Horseshoe Beach. It's a very unique kind of step back in in uh, years place. They have a lot of little uh, beach houses, and then you'll have RV sites. People rent out their private RV site, their private lots to RVers. That's what we did here. Um, but it's very unique. There is one restaurant. And then this carry out place, but they're connected. So when one's open, the other one's closed. There is nothing to do here. There is no internet. Um, we couldn't get internet. I have T-Mobile. Um, it was Verizon only. Um, it's very different here. <laughs> Um, we have booked a month. We're not going to stay the month. There's not enough to do. Even though we went um, further and further out, I think we've investigated this area and there's really not a lot to do. And the bugs are horrendous. Here is our guy, our motorhome. And you can see there's enough room for two other ones, a full hookup, which we've kind of overtaken the property there. And then um, a water and electric back here. So three on one site. Although I've only had a, a uh, neighbor one night. Yeah. And then they left. The sunset at Horseshoe Beach. This is a weekday and you can see people here on a weekend. It's really crowded here. I would bet in the summer this is packed. You really can't probably tell by the video how pretty this is. But it is really pretty. Oh, it's going down. A little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to video and watch. Sometimes that's not always easy. And it's almost gone. A little bit more. Other more. Just a little slither more. And it's done. Woohoo! Very pretty. Set at Horseshoe Beach, Florida. People all 
and gathered around. To watch it. So here we are at Sheard. I'm going to put the spelling up there because I don't think I'm saying it right. Island. Um, it's above Cedar Key on the uh, Gulf of Mexico. It's um, pretty rustic, I guess. It's not a typical beach. There is a beach that was a little further down that actually had camping too, but they didn't let dogs. So I'm going to turn it around so you can see what it looks like. So there's a boat ramp there, and over there people are fishing. There's a Sammy girl enjoying the day. There's some uh, paths down there that I think do lead to maybe another um, sandy area. But we just got here and we're enjoying it. There was a um, bridge to come over here. And it said uh, road work, but there were people fishing on both sides of it. And the uh, road guy was fishing. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's purposely the road work is that they close it off for people fishing. I'm not really sure. Say hello. Hello. Dock Street on Cedar K. We've got some bars, more bars, little stores up there. Quite nice little area. Nice little beach at Cedar K. Look, it has a playground right here, kayak rentals. It's a little chilly for us today. I think we've gotten soft since we came to Florida because it's like 65. And I got a sweatshirt on like it's freezing. Yeah, nice little beach. Horseshoe Beach is where we're staying, and there's no beach there, which is weird, but as it is. Bathrooms. Nice little sandy area and a beach. Nice. 